Hey guys, I am hanging out in... Wakarusa. Wakarusa? Did I say that right? Yeah. Indiana? That's All right. right. Uh, I thought it was Elkhart. Am I near Elkhart? You're close. Okay. Yeah. All right. But wa Wakarusa. 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 Uh, this is George. Yeah. George is with the Cherokee line. And so we've talked about like what's new for 2022. I will tell you that new for 22 for RVW uh, in the Northeast, the Northeast RVW is the Cherokee line, mm -hmm. which is uh, an extension of Forest River. Yes. Right. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the Cherokee line, because like I said, this is brand new for us to carry. Yeah. No, the Cherokee line is going to be uh, encompassing the Cherokees, the gray wolves and the wolf pups. So different segments of the product um, going to be, um, you know, for different buyers, mm -hmm. um, whether that's for half ton towables, uh, minivan buyers, people that want, you know, larger units and that type yeah. of thing. So, okay. Yeah. I know that as I've done this show for the past year or so, as I'm driving down the freeway, I will see like wolf, like either gray wolf mm -hmm. or wolf pup. And I remember thinking, I've, I've never seen those at our dealer. So I'm excited about this. Yeah, it's it's something new for you guys. Um, we, you know, being the you know, number one selling travel trailer brand out in the country, uh -huh. it's, uh, you know, we're exciting to pair up with yeah, you guys. Yeah, I'm stoked. So I mentioned you as George. Tell us who you are, though. Yeah, I'm uh, George Schmidt. I'm the manufacturer rep. I've been with uh, Cherokee for 23 years. Um, you know, I've seen the, the product grow into an incredible uh, product for the customers and for our dealers. So. Cool. Well, uh, being the manufacturing rep, you probably know all about this this uh, RV right here. Do you want to walk through it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. So okay. what do we got uh, what well, going on? We're going to go ahead and we'll start out over on the front side. Okay. So one of the things that we're doing up front is gonna be putting the power tongue jack on, you know, your 20 pound LP bottles. But what we got going on here is gonna be uh, putting a, a 27 EV battery on here. And what that is, is gonna spotlight and highlight our juice pack. So okay. it's gonna have a 50 watt solar panel on there. Wow. So it's gonna help uh, keep the battery charged and, uh, you know, keep things up and uh, running when people are maybe off grid Great. type of thing. Awesome. Yeah. So. Um, you know, over here, we're going to have our power awnings, um, easy push button um, function. Then uh, our new oh, glass door. That's a sharp door. That is a sharp door. Yeah. So it's a tempered glass door. It's got the gray wolf badging on here. It's going to have the Cherokee badging, wolf uh -huh. uh, badging on there as well. Yeah, that's very sharp. I was just thinking before you shut that, because I hadn't seen the door, I was yeah. just thinking how much I like the color of this thing and that door fits perfect. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. So then, um, you know, one of the other highlights here are going to be our new st stable steps. Okay. So obviously easy to, uh, you know, pull, pull out from the door. Um, it's going to be stable for people to go in and out of the camper as well. On the, the door side here, one of the highlights on a Cherokee or Gray Wolf product are just the sizes of the windows that we put in here. Uh -huh. So great viewing from uh, inside and out. And then we also do our outside TV bracket with our outside speakers. Um, they're backlit blue and they also tie in with the blue lighting under the awning as well. So it just is a nice, subtle, inviting light here. Yeah. So people can sit here and a uh, nice night out. They can have movie right. night under the stars. This is very hip. Is that the is that yeah. a correct? I, I, mean, I would say hip. it looks a little hip. It's modern and hip. I, yes. I dig it a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, I do too. The other thing that we do with all of our uh, Cherokee products is we're doing some sort of outside uh, kitchen out okay. here. So this particular one's going to have your outside refrigerator, you're going to have your ice maker, your outside uh, shower to fill up your ice maker, and then your RVQ quick connect down there as well so somebody can put a, a gas grill out here. Okay. Some of the other models are going to have an actual pull out grill um, on there as well. So. Um, we're going to check off that box of people that are wanting to have some sort of area for yeah. an outside kitchen. I love that you got an ice maker in it. This is the first RV I've seen that has an ice maker. Oh, I mean, when you're camping, you always run out of ice. Yeah. So it's a perfect, yeah. perfect feature to put on you, here. You can't go out and buy a big bag of ice because you've got the small, you don't want to take up space just right. for ice. That's brilliant. Yeah. What kind of, okay, here's a weird question. What kind of ice does it make? Is it making cubes? Is it making the, the crushed ice? Um, it's. It varies, okay. Um, you know, because 
with the supply kind of chain issues, uh -huh. um, you know, we're having to do, you know, substitute in some different ice makers gotcha. you know, from time to time. So okay. it's going to. I know it's a weird things. question. But it, it, it's a little <laughs> bit, you know, difficult to answer. Okay. So, yeah. okay. so it could be, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Either way, it's going to be frozen water that's going to keep your cold drink. Absolutely. Your cold Absolutely. drink, you drink cold. <laughs> <laughs> So the other things we're putting on here is going to be our black tank flush. It's, you know, anybody that's ever had a black tank flush appreciates the fact that it's on here. So each one of our campers are going to have that as well. So off to the side here, I wanted to get over here and show the uh, black aluminum wheels. It's got your easy lube axle, so it's easy for people to, you know, uh, grease the, the bearings on here. Okay. And then we also put the tire pressure gauge monitors right on Great. the valve stem. So. It's an easy check of your tire pressure as you go down the road. If it's green, it means it's good. If it turns red, you need to add air awesome. to it. Awesome. Okay. So back here, um, you know, we add the, the leash latch. You know, everybody you know, likes to take their animals yep. camping. Kids. You know, kids, unruly, <laughs> you know, pe people. So yeah. uh, they, they got that back there as well. Okay. All right. So back here is probably one of the most usable, friendly uh, features is our cargo rack. Mm -hmm. So um, the cargo rack's gonna hold up to over 200 pounds of uh, cargo capacity. Nice. So coolers, bikes, grills, kayaks, whatever somebody wants to throw on here, okay. instead of into the bed of the truck, they can put on the back yeah. of the camper Let me tell you, well. I just, we just got one of these just for our SUV. Yeah. And how nice it is to have that extra space. Yeah, absolutely. You take it for granted, like, there, we went on vacation not long ago and put everything in the back of our SUV and just lost so much space, got this, and got all our space back. Mm -hmm. So these things are, don't, don't underestimate how brilliant these things are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't we go ahead and we'll pop on the inside. Okay. All right, so we'll pop on in here. <laughs> Again, it's just hip, this, this dark, my wife would love this stuff. Her favorite color is black. She would dig this room. And that's one of the things that has been a success with the Cherokee product is, is the styling and the design. Uh -huh. You know, um, our designer stays in contact with the residential trends of the, you know, homes. Yeah. So right now, black is in. Black uh -huh. is hip. Um, so that's kind of where we went. And if you're camping, you want your, your, you know, cabinets and things to be a little darker because, you know, you got tracking uh, dirt. Absolutely. You know, that type of stuff in and out. So it hides things better. Uh -huh. So one of the things that we do in here is we add you know, overhead cabinets over mm -hmm. our bed. So instead of having a shelf, we have cabinets um, to keep things in. Uh, we also put a nice uh, you know, fitted sheet on here. Okay. Um, and, and you also have your pillow shams here just for a little extra uh, decor. Yeah. USB charging ports everywhere. Everybody has devices that need to be charged, so we throw charging ports everywhere in here. Never have too many. And uh, then we also have our TV bracket in the bedroom as well. Great. So lots of great features. I see even more storage uh, back here. here. I don't know if. Yeah. So more yeah. Uh, areas for, for goods and storages. Okay. Great. Um, big, huge windows again in yeah. the bedroom, and they open. So you have a lot of cross ventilation in the bedroom. Perfect. This is cool. No, I mean, it, it, this is. Um, you know, just like what we call our super kitchen. So uh -huh. there's a lot of awesome features in here. So you have your uh, really nice residential countertops. They're extra thick, so they're robust. They're not thin, cheap. They don't have tea molding and mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Uh, we have our farm style or apron sink, which is very popular in residential. Yeah. Uh, it's a single bowl, so you can actually get dishes and plates and, and uh, pots and pans in here right. with your pull out faucet here. Um, we also add a couple extra outlets in the um, kitchen. So everybody has crocks, crock pots, okay. toasters, coffee makers, that type of thing. So Absolutely. we add extra outlets in the kitchen. We have our Cherokee sanitizer station um, or you know, your soap dispenser as well. Then we also have our uh, bamboo cutting board. Oh, that's nice. Which is great. That's magnetic and holds up against here. Oh, that's, that's smart. That's good. Yeah. Um, so You've got and fruit then, loops. Then we got fruit loops. Can't go wrong with fruit loops. And we got spaghetti for Sp breakfast <laughs> if you want, I guess. For breakfast. I would do spaghetti for breakfast yeah. any time. <laughs> so like I said, you know, we have a tremendous amount of lighting in here. You have your glass covered cooktop. We have solid wood drawers in here as opposed to particle board, okay. uh, vinyl wrap drawers mm -hmm. indoors. So um, definitely high quality um, materials that we're putting in here. Wow. So if we turn and look into the, uh, the slide out area, mm -hmm. so we're using these awesome zebra blinds. 
So you get a little bit of light or you can you know, <laughs> roll them up a little bit and it darkens everything out. So that's it's, sweet. It's, it's a really nice high end feature that we're putting in here as well. Wow. Okay. All of our U shaped wow. dinettes, they're 12 inches bigger than most of our um, I was say, I, th I, th I thought it felt when I walked in, it looked yeah. like it was bigger than the others. That I've seen. Yeah. So it, it makes into a, a, you know, a bigger bed when mm -hmm. it's broken down in a bed position or a family of five can fit comfortably in the dinette. Yeah. Then you go ahead and pull out these drawers. Okay. So, okay. So keep going, keep wow. going, keep Good going. Good grief. So <laughs> what we have are a tremendous amount of storage up underneath our dinettes. Yeah. So not only do we have one, but we have two. That. <laughs> it almost it almost seemed fake yeah. as I pulled that out. Like, where's this coming from? That's yeah. that's good. So wow. the other things we're putting in here are um, our fifteen thousand uh, BTU air conditioner. Everybody else uses thirteen five, so we're putting the bigger air conditioner in here. Okay. So it's going to cool this unit down. Um, mm -hmm. The customer doesn't have to, you know, um, upgrade to uh, the new one. It's just going nice. to come with its standard. We also have our subwoofer in here, so it's gonna put out really great quality sound. That's great. We have our fireplace over here, uh -huh. so it can you know, be act as a space heater or it could act as just a little bit of an ambiance. Wow. So just, yeah. like I said, totally loaded with features and value for the customer, uh -huh. okay? The other big things that we put in all of our campers that we can is going to be our huge pantries. It's just not a cabinet door with a few shelves in it. It's an actual pantry. Mm -hmm. Put uh, a lot of food in there. Put a lot of food and, and goods in here. We're also going to put in a bigger refrigerator for the customer. Okay. It's an 11 cubic foot refrigerator, so it's 10% bigger than everybody else's refrigerator wow. out here. So it's a it's a great, great refrigerator. Nice. Okay. In the kitchen, we also have some more skylights. Um, lets more natural light in here. It's going to come with the shade. So great. you can block it out if it's too bright in here. And then the best selling, you know, um, trailer in the markets are bunk houses. And, you know, the double beds are going to be a great feature. But what we do here is we put um, USB charging ports in the each one of the bunk okay. areas as well. We also put the top window in there, so it lets a lot of light in for the top bunk. A lot of people eliminate that, okay. um, that feature as well. So bathroom's got some great features as well. We put the uh, big 12-inch fantastic fan in the bathroom. It's going to help circulate fresh air in this unit every two, three minutes. Awesome. Okay. Tub surround is going to be included. Big sink, big medicine cabinet in here as well. So it's a very roomy, user-friendly uh, Again, the, the bathroom area. colors are just sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we talk about this on uh, with, with other models. It's nice to have a door into this bathroom from Absolutely. the outside. So you're not tracking through if you need to get in. Uh, but yeah, that is, that is very nice. Let me ask you a tough question that I'm not sure we've had answered before. Yeah. Maybe you can answer it. Why is there always a space above the doors on the bathrooms? It's more for a ventilation. Okay, issue. that's what I that's yeah. what I thought. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just I just nobody has ever really answered. <laughs> There's that space. Can you see that space? Can you see my fingers, Tyler? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that is a sharp sharp RV. I know I said that over and over again, but it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling there's a lot of people are like, whoa, hold on a second. I haven't seen these on your RV show yet. I want to jump into one of these. So uh, hopefully uh, things things start, uh, your, the phone starts ringing because if you want to get yourself in one of these, you need to call us right now.